32 degrees. That is the freezing point tonight. One woman says she's living only degrees above that number and she is asking for help. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross with more on the many calls for assistance that have been made. It's just been a horrific situation. If the chill from the ice or the winter winds makes you shiver outside, consider what Marilyn Lee does. I have to put on a jacket. Inside her Holman Square home. This is my only source of heat in the living room. You come in, it says 40 degrees. It's 40 degrees on the inside. That cold inside meant the pipes above bursting Wednesday. As you can see the water all down the walls there still. But the problem begins downstairs. To the basement. Where the woman who describes herself as a disabled widow shows us her disabled furnace. Uh, there was a home. There was a home. What does it sound like now? Uh, nothing. She says through a City of Chicago program for low-income households, this unit was installed back in 2013, but it's passed its warranty. Barely five years later, it is heating nothing. After a service call, the bill to fix it totals. $950. I don't have that money. Additional calls and letters to get help have led her down a red tape trail of bureaucracy, including stops at the Department of Buildings. And they're referring you to other agencies. And back and forth. And so agencies referring you to other agencies. And, and no help. For now, help with the heat is hazardous. Well, I have my stove on. The fire department would tell you it's dangerous to heat your home with that stove, with that oven. I have no other recourse. This is what it's come to. This is what it's come to. Live dangerously or die freezing. Mm -hmm. CBS 2 reached out to several city officials for comment on the story, as well as ways to possibly help Lee. Our messages were not immediately returned. In Home and Square, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News.